So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we are currently putting out on a daily basis. If you go back and you have a look at how many videos we've put out at this point, we've got over 800 videos uh, since we started the channel, all designed to help you grow and scale your own sports coaching business. So today I want to talk about prospecting mistakes that sports coaches are making with their business. All right. So something that we help coaches to do within our company who are part of our program and also coaches that we speak to on a regular basis who aren't part of our company. But we we schedule these free 15 to 20 minute calls. We get on those the, those calls and we ask coaches questions and we see how they're growing, how they're looking to scale, what problems, what obstacles they're going through. And something I've noticed over the last couple of weeks, speaking with coaches about prospecting, are the three mistakes that I want to share with you in today's video. Okay. So if you get to the end of this video and you're thinking to yourself, do you know what? This is one thing that I'm really struggling with. Then don't struggle with it any longer, right? Get in contact with me. There's two ways you can do that. If you have a look in the description of this video, right, you'll find my Canonly link where you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with me and jump on Zoom. We can have a chat about your business, see where you are, see when you, where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to just send me a, a direct email, you can do that as well by emailing me to e uh, makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? So don't stay stuck with this topic. If you're struggling, get in contact with me, right? I would love to help you to overcome this, this obstacle. So... On the screen, I'm sharing with you three prospecting mistakes that all sports coaches are currently making with their business. Okay, so for those that don't know what prospecting is, prospecting is when you are essentially researching a potential clients that are a good fit for your company. Okay, prospecting potential clients that are a good fit for your company and will pay you for your services okay so there's a number of different ways that you can prospect you can prospect through social media you can prospect through speaking to people you can prospect through uh, through putting out content such as for youtube right and putting different content out and having the, the the person that's consuming reach out to you right there's different ways to prospect and what I'm going to talk to you today are the mistakes coaches are making with this topic. Okay. So the first one is most co sports coaches aren't staying consistent with prospecting. Okay. So they're giving up too soon before it even works. Now, when I started my sports coaching business, this was about five years ago now, right? I had zero clients. Okay, like every sports coach has, they have zero clients at the beginning and what they're looking to do, they're looking to grow to at least the first, their first client. So what I had to do is I had to prospect and I had to speak to a lot of parents about what my sports coaching business did. Okay. Now, what most coaches do is they quit because they come across this one thing called rejection. Rejection is very hard to take, but it's something that you're going to come across, not just in business, but in life, right? People will say no to you. People will say, I'll think about it. People will say, I'm not ready to buy at the moment. People will say, eh, this isn't the right fit for us, okay? All of these types of things are rejections, right? But what I want you to think in your head is if you overcome rejection, you will get to correction, right? You will get to the correct client. Okay, so going through rejection, you get to correction. That is the way I see it. So when I first started my sports coaching business, I came across a lot of rejection. I came across parents who didn't know who I was. So when I would talk to them, they would ignore me. I had parents who would show up for an evaluation session 
And then they would completely ghost me because they wouldn't uh, reach out to me when I was following up with them. I had some parents who completely lied to me. They said to me that we just don't have enough time at the moment or it's not a right time for us. Okay. So rejection is part of prospecting. Okay. But to get to the right client, to get to the correct client, we need to be rejected. Now, what happened was for me, you know, after a lot of rejection, I started to, to, to get very down on myself and I was close to the point of giving up. Right. But thankfully for me, what I did is I joined, okay, a lot of uh, business coaching programs and I found a mentor, right? My, the men my mentor at the time was Ben Neighbors, who is our CEO, the, the founder of, the com of this company, Make Money Coaching Sports. And he was able to correct a couple of um, systems, a couple of ways that I was using when it came to prospecting. So what I started to do is I started to reach out to three parents per day. Okay. Now, out of those three parents, sometimes they would ignore me. Other times they would say, hey, yeah, great. Like we're interested. We want to know a bit more about what you do. Okay. And what started happening is because I became very consistent over a long period of time, I then got my first client. I then started getting more attention and I started getting parents reaching out to me to learn more about what I did. But if I had quit in the early stages of my prospecting, then ultimately I wouldn't have had a business at all, right? I would have quit and I probably wouldn't be here, here today talking to you or recording this video, okay? So essentially, one of the biggest mistakes coaches are making, they don't stay consistent, they don't follow a process, and they give up too soon. When you give up too soon, you don't give yourself a chance to succeed. Second one, right, second mistake I'm seeing is coaches are reaching out to the wrong type of prospects. Now, something that's very common on, especially on social media, right? So when we use Instagram, for example, as Instagram's a fantastic prospecting tool, okay? Because if you're reaching out, you're creating content, right, you will be able to grow your business, okay, over a long period of time. But what something I see a lot of coaches do is they're reaching out to kids, okay? So they're, they're putting content out there. Kids are reaching out, asking them questions. And ultimately what they're doing is they're trying to sell the kids on joining their program okay and joining their business but essentially what happens is if you're reaching out to kids kids aren't the decision makers right kids don't have credit cards they don't have debit cards they don't have methods to pay you for your service so essentially a lot of coaches are wasting time with kids going backwards and forwards and they're not getting anywhere Okay, so essentially what we want to do is we want to create content. We want to DM people using, for example, Instagram or Facebook, but we want to reach out to parents who are the decision makers. Okay, parents are ultimately the one that pays the bills. Kids don't pay the bills. Okay, so now, again, I've seen other coaches that have reached out to kids and through the kid, they speak to parents and then parents reach out to the coach. I have seen that and it can work, but it's a very long process, okay? Because most kids aren't going to sell their parents on the idea of them training with you, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna avoid the middleman, which is the kid, and we wanna sell and promote directly to the parent, okay? So, if you're reaching out to a lot of kids, ultimately, you're not going to get anywhere with your business, okay? Because what we need to do is we need to be reaching out to parents. Parents are the decision makers. Parents are the ones that pay the bills. And ultimately, parents are the ones that can give you a yes or no, okay? And that's what we want to do. That's what prospecting is about. It's about communicating. It's about connecting 
and it's about getting a yes or no. Yes, I want to move forward and go to an evaluation session or no, we aren't interested at the moment. Okay, And if you do that over a consistent period, you will get more yeses than you, you will get noes. Okay? At the beginning, you'll get loads of noes, but if you stay consistent, ultimately those noes will turn into yeses. Okay? Now, the third one is coach sports coaches aren't using enough strategies and tactics when it comes to prospecting. Okay. So what I mean by this is what coaches are doing is they're putting content out, for example, on, on Instagram, and that's it. Right. They're hoping that someone reaches out to them for their services. So they're spending a lot of time, they're spending a lot of energy on content, which is important, it's very important for your business. But ultimately what happens is, okay, if all you're doing is just putting content out and there's no call to action, then ultimately no one's going to connect with you. No one's gonna take no one's gonna take action on that content. Okay. And what coaches, sports coaches normally do is they put content and then they stop there, right? They don't DM uh, people that are liking or they're commenting on the videos. All they're doing is they're putting videos out, putting video as, videos out, hoping that someone could, connects and reaches out to them, okay? So what we want to do is we want to use different strategies and different tactics when it comes to prospecting. Okay, so content is one, uh, sending direct messages is two, uh, sending emails is three, speaking to parents at local games, right? So it could be a soccer game, it could be a basketball game, going out, speaking, connecting with parents, talking to them about what you do is another way. Uh, the fifth way is networking with other sports coaches in your area, who have businesses, okay? maybe you guys can collaborate and do a camp or clinic together, okay? or reaching out to organizations in your local area, such as a YMCA, if you're in the United States, right? or in the if you're in the UK, maybe reach out to a power league or a goals to see if you can run a group training session for their clients, and from there, we can try and see if we can move those clients into your private coaching uh, business, right? So there's a lot of different ways you can do to prospect and to grow your, your company. But these are the three main mistakes I am seeing that coaches are making that are killing their prospecting. And it's ultimately killing their business, okay? Because if you're not staying consistent with your prospecting, you're ultimately not going to grow your clientele. If you're reaching out to the wrong type of prospects, it's you're, you're not going to go anywhere with your business. You're just going to be hitting a brick wall. Okay, And if you're not using different uh, strategies and tactics, then you're not reaching out to a greater audience uh, in your local area. Okay, So you might just be using Instagram and you're putting a lot of effort and energy into Instagram, but Maybe your clients aren't on Instagram, they're, they're more on Facebook. Okay, so maybe Facebook is the is what you should be using instead, or you can use both, right? Why not use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Why not use all these mediums to reach out to prospects and to try and get more known to parents, okay? So if you need more help, I'd love to jump on a free 15 to 20 minute call with you to see where you're currently at, see where you want to get to, and hopefully show you some, some actionable steps to take this week with your business. If you don't want to reach out to me or if you don't want to schedule a call, right, you can also send me just a question via email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I check my emails every single day and I respond to coaches who reach out to me with uh, business questions, Okay. So also, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got coaches, uh, success coaches in our program, in our company at the moment that are putting out content on a daily basis that are helping coaches in different niches. So if you're in basketball, if you're in baseball, if you're in tennis, if you're in soccer, if you're in swimming, if you're in sports performance, 
All right, we've got sports coaches currently that are putting content out to help you with your business. Okay. <music>